Hey everybody, it's John Broadwell, creator of the Serial Wombat Open Source Project and an embedded systems consultant available for hire through my company, Broadwell Consulting Incorporated, focused on medical device development and general embedded systems development. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, get on Instagram and follow at Serial Wombat. Uh, that's a great way for you to see new things that are coming out, uh, some of which is not significant enough all by itself to make a YouTube video about. Uh, bug reports, new features, stuff that's in progress, things like that. Uh, today we're going to take a look at downloading code with the Serial Wombat panel uh, application, which you probably say, hey, we've seen this before. There's a whole video on that. Yeah, that's true. But today we're going to put a twist on it. We're going to show how to do it using an Arduino board as a USB to UART converter. Uh, I had a customer that needed help with something and needs to download the latest version of firmware and doesn't have an FTDI cable uh, immediately available. Uh, so we're going to show how to use it with the serial Wombat chip and an Arduino board. Today we're going to be looking at a Arduino Uno and hooking up to a Serial Wombat chip via the uh, UART port. So let's take a look real quick at the connections. So the first thing we have to do is we just want to use the USB to UART converter on the chip and we don't want the App Mega or ESP8266 or whatever microcontroller you have on there to do anything. So we're going to load a totally blank sketch we're going to make sure we get the right board connected and the right port, COM16, remember that for later. And we're just going to uh, upload a empty sketch. Okay, that didn't take long because it was empty. Now let's take a look at our hardware configuration. We have our, we have our Serial Wombat chip over here, which uh, we've got tra the transmit pin, and receive pin on seven and nine relative to the serial wombat's point of view, uh, the 3.3 volt line and ground. And so up here, normally if there's no grounding on the address pin, the serial wombat chip will come up in I squared C mode. We want UART. So sometimes I solder pins into these two holes right there and put a jumper on it. I didn't do it on this particular board. So I'm just gonna use this little clip to tie those two holes together, and that will ground the address pin. Note that you have to do that before you apply power because it samples the address pin at power up. So I'm gonna hook up the ground to the Serial Wombat ground. I'm gonna hook up the Serial Wombat 3.3 volt to the Arduino 3.3 volt. I'm going to hook up the RX to the Arduino RX pin. That may seem backwards to you, but remember, it's not the Arduino chip that's talking to us, it's the UART converter. And then I'm going to hook up the Serial Wombat TX pin to the TX pin. Now you may say, wait a minute, the Serial Wombat 18AB is a 3.3 volt chip and the Arduino Uno is a 5 volt chip. Are we in danger of breaking something? And if you look on the website or on the pin diagram on the card that came with your kit, you'll see there's a handful of pins that are five volt tolerant and that the RX pin is one of those. So no worries there. At this point, you'll wanna make sure that the serial monitor is closed so that you can open that port with a different application. We're gonna open up the Serial Wombat Panel application and say open serial. COM16, don't know why it showed up twice. And it's going through and looking at the chip. And it found it. Okay, and it's got firmware version 2.11 in it, which actually this is a prototype version and that's what we're going to be uploading again, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go to Tools, Download New Hex File. And this CRC app.hex is my interim stuff. It hasn't been officially labeled yet and put in the release file. This is a build that I just did, but let's download that one. And you can see entering boot mode, erasing blocks. So it definitely found the Serial Wombat chip through the Arduino's interface and is downloading it. This will take a few minutes. I'm gonna accelerate it real quick on the video because we don't wanna wait. Okay, and we can see it completed programming and now it's calculating a CRC on the chip. That's a pretty intensive process. It takes uh, about 15 seconds. 
And then the underneath the applications asking it, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? And when it is, okay, it retrieved it. The calculated CRC from the chip looking at its own flash was 51668. The expected was 51668. So that download was successful. So we're going to close this and we're going to do a port close. And from here, we will unplug the Arduino, basically just so that we power cycle everything. So then we'll power this guy back up. And that looks good. And so now we'll do a port open and make sure that it can still read it. Open serial, COM16. Being patient. And it found it again. So we, we successfully downloaded and did all that. And so it kind of probably goes without saying that now that we're connected up to the Serial Wombat chip, you can use any of these various functions. It's like, hey, let's, you know, turn pin 19 into a, you know, into a servo. So we'll take a look uh, how much of our system utilization are we using. And let's see it in percentage. And we'll say auto sample. Okay, uh, right now at idle, it's running about 7% of total capability. Uh, so, you know, I mean, basically this is just uh, an example of using an Arduino board without the Arduino chip to be a USB to UART converter. So. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Like I said, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram so that you can see the latest uh, latest stuff that's coming out. And uh, love to see pictures of your projects. Tag at SerialWombat.com uh, if you post anything so that people can see it. Uh, and uh, other than that, have fun. Keep making stuff. The Serial Wombat firmware is available on GitHub and is constantly being updated. Subscribe below so that you can see the latest features and videos that come out as we fix bugs and add new features. The Serial Wombat open source project was created by Broadwell Consulting Incorporated. Broadwell Consulting Incorporated provides help developing medical devices with a focus on developing embedded firmware, which is compliant with IEC 62304, ISO 14971, and ISO 13485 as well as remediation assistance for products already in production. For more information, contact John at Broadwell Consulting. Support requests for Serial Wombat should be sent to help at serialwombat.com and will be answered on an as-available basis. Also, feel free to leave your question in the comments below.